Hey everyone, it's me, Pam P. Tonino, and I'm really excited to bring this card to you today. Check this out. It says, The best of times are geared around you. Is that fun? <laughs> and so what this is, this is a part of the um, Guy Card collaboration that is being hosted by May May Helms of May May Made It and Gareth Brewer of G's Creations. And what they have done, they just brainstormed this amazing collaboration bringing together 26 different artists. Uh, they've also created a contest. And what's really cool about this contest, check this out. So um, there's 26 collaborators and there are 26 letters of the alphabet. And so what you do is as you are watching everybody's videos, you, um, uh, you write down, they are going to give you each participant is going to give you a clue to what is in Daddy's toolbox. And so what you're going to do is you're going to write down the letters A through Z. And then as you're watching these videos, um, when they give you the clue, starting with May May, you're going to write that down. And then at the very end of the event, it will end with Gareth. And he is going to give us the instructions for what to do with these tools in order to, an to enter the contest. Now what's really fun about this contest now, there are three prize packages, three winners, and the um, it's open internationally so no limitation as to where you live. So, um, so I'm going to show you how I made this fun little card and um, Hope that you enjoyed this, and do definitely stay tuned. My letter today is the letter U, and I will tell you later what my tool is. So do stay tuned for that, and um, be ready to write that down. All right, here we go into the card making. They've also created a contest, and what's really cool about this contest, check this out. So um, there's 26 collaborators, and there are 26 letters of the alphabet. And so what you do is, as you are watching everybody's videos, you, um, uh, you write down, they are going to give you each participant is going to give you a clue to what is in Daddy's toolbox. And so what you're going to do is you're going to write down the letters A through Z. And then as you're watching these videos, um, when they give you the clue, starting with May May, you're going to write that down. And then at the very end of the event, it will end with Gareth. And he is going to give us the instructions for what to do with these tools in order to, an to enter the contest. Now what's really fun about this contest now, there are three prize packages. Keyword is packages. <laughs> it is, so there are three, going to be three winners and the, um, it's open internationally so no limitation as to where you live. And it's just a really fun additional element. In addition to being inspired by all of these amazing cards that people are making, you also get to, um, it's, there's just a fun little game involved. I thought it was just brilliant the way that they're doing this. So, um, so I'm going to show you how I made this fun little card. And, um, Hope that you enjoyed this, and do definitely stay tuned. My letter today is the letter U, and I will tell you later what my tool is. So do stay tuned for that, and um, be ready to write that down. All right, here we go into the card making. Okay, so now we're ready to 
construct the um, fold out part to make the spinner. This pattern, this template, came from Easy Craft, E Z Y Craft, and he made this really, really cute heart. And I was looking for something. I knew that I wanted uh, movement in this card, and I kind of had an idea what I wanted and um, this worked out just so perfect. I thought it was so cute and I was really excited to try it. So what I did is I just cut along the printed guidelines and then my needle and I'm just going to poke a hole through the X here and just make that kind of a little bit big so that I can see it. And then, also, holding it very still, I'm going to cut, I'm sorry, poke it right here at the X. So, it's just going through like so. Now, I'm going to take this so yeah, I've just folded these here like that, and then I folded this here like so, all right? And now I want to open this up, okay, and so let's see here, hold on a minute. This is coming up like so. And then this part here is going to go down like that. And now let's prepare our little spinner. So this is what it looks like. So I'm going to use this and um, you can use a, a, a thin dowel, you can use a stick if you have something round, uh, a little chopstick. Wear your safety glasses if you're going to be using the um, wire cutters. And these are the heavy duty wire cutters. These are not my jewelry wire cutters. They're more heavy duty. Um, and for me, I need, uh, hold on, both hands to squeeze this. And then for the length of it, um, I am just going to measure. I don't want it to come all the way to the very end. All right, so I want it to come up about an eighth of an inch and then down from the tippy top an eighth of an inch. So I'm just going to kind of mark that with my finger and get my pliers right up here. And hold on a minute, let me Measure twice, cut once, right? <laughs> okay, so I want to make sure that that's there and that's there. Okay. And so I'm going to cut it right here. Okay. And get your fingers out of the way. <laughs> and again, if you have a stick, if you have a little dowel, if you have anything like that, that works out really well. Okay, so what I want to do is I want this to be lined up right there. I'm just using a paint pen marker. And, um, and then on the upper one, I'm also going to mark the lower one. Um, he puts the paper on the lower, on the outer ends. When I tried that on my sample, um, I really, I ended up putting one at the top here, and I really liked that. So I want to do that again. And um, so for this part, just take a half inch strip of paper, half inch wide, and about four inches long. It's shown here at eight and a half inches long, and that was too much to wrap around here. So, um, so just use. Uh, I ended up having to cut some of this off, so just use about four inches. Okay, so I have these stoppers on here. See how that is showing the white, and um, it's just making me nervous that it might um, 
might want to be a weak spot and tear on me later. So that's just to reinforce it. That's so I'm going to insert them and I'm going to insert the single end first. Okay. And now for the bottom end. And there we go. I am going to make this my kind of like a a washer and it's to keep it you know how, th how thread, when pulled, wants to kind of go through and tear the paper? So what I want to do is I, I don't want that to happen. So I am just going to tie this off, go through that little hole. Let's just put some glue on there. Now, what we're going to do is wrap this around and you want to wrap this around about five or six times. Okay, so I had to do a little bit of fussing and um, it's I just had to trim a little tiny bit off of this notch here and also on the upper part and I think it had more to do with my placement and um, so anyway and then of course I had to take the um, the gears off okay so now that we have it properly seated and um, threaded in here and you notice how it's kind of up at an angle instead of being flat like I did it the first time it does need to be at an angle um, so that there's a little bit of tension on this when to make it turn so that's what I did wrong okay and I apologize if I'm making this very confusing Okay, you guys, so my letter is the letter U, and my tool in Daddy's Toolbox is the upholstery hammer. All right, be sure to write that down, and write down, collect all of Daddy's tools throughout the entire alphabet, and remember, stay tuned for Gareth's video on Sunday, June 5th. All right, and he'll tell you what to do with those tools and how to enter the contest. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward through the gluing process and put on some music. I hope you enjoy it, and I will talk to you at the end.
Okay, so I hope that you have enjoyed this video, and but um, I really like it. It I think it turned out cute, and I hope you do too. A special thank you to May May and Gareth. It's just been so much fun. I am so honored to be in this uh, this collaboration with such talented people. So thank you very much for letting me participate and I hope that you've enjoyed my contribution and um, I do want to thank you for watching and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this and do check out, if you haven't already seen, uh, Creative Shelly Bear, uh, Michelle, uh, her video is released today and she can be found on this link here. And if you um, uh, need to catch up with any of the, the videos to collect daddy's tools, um, do check out the playlist and um, enjoy. All right, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye-bye.